All right, guys, so this weekly reset is going to be quite special for Dragon Ball Legends just because of New Year's. So we can expect about two or three brand new updates as opposed to just one uh, Tuesday night update that I usually do. So, guys, if you want to keep updated 24-7 everything uh, Dragon Ball Legends, just make sure you guys simply just subscribe and turn on those notifications so you guys do not miss a thing. But, guys, like I said, today is Monday and we got some leaks. So, you know, it's quite uh, what we're not accustomed to, I'd say. So, let's not waste any time. Let's try to get into it. We are going to get multitude of uh, leaks throughout the week as well. So, like I mentioned. Uh, but this is part one. So, uh, we got New Year's fireworks. Aren't they splendid? And we got first form Frieza here. Uh, get first form Frieza and limit break him to seven red stars. Now, this is going to be a free-to-play character. And we do have the, uh, you know, his, his toolkit already. So, we're going to go over that in just one bit. But also, you guys see down here, ring in the New Year's with Legend. Legends. Make the most of the New Year's event and get New Year's gift bags. So the gift bags are returning. Uh, this should be coming out on the 31st of December just to keep you guys updated. Um, and then it goes on to say exchange them for Legends limited characters. So obviously we see UI Goku here. We see Super Saiyan 3 Goku and you know Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan now. Uh, I'm personally going to go for Super Saiyan 3 Goku just because uh, I don't have a maxed out. <laughs> so and he's really good too. So uh, yeah, you know, and this week really threw me off because I wasn't expecting, I, I I read the news section about the maintenance, but I wasn't expecting for PvP to reset today, uh, you know, a multitude of things like, uh, I believe, is it co-op or no? It's it spread out throughout the whole week, it's really, really weird, oh, Tournament of Power is reset today as well, so... Uh, yeah, and then we also got uh, the New Year's special uh, space time duo, excuse me. So, um, you know, same thing, probably everything will be double rewards. Uh, very much so like the last two PvP seasons, which is really nice, you know, just to get 2,000 crystals as opposed to the regular 1,000. Or if you guys are top 15%, you do get 1,000 crystals, so that's really nice too. So, um, and in the bottom, we also have uh, Super Gogeta, which is this one right here. Uh, in the battle is the battle bonus character. Uh, you know, uh, aim for amazing rewards in the 2022 with allies from all over the world. I'm assuming this is going to be, um, you know, uh, there is going to be a raid uh, versus Janimba, I believe. But here it says collect Happy New Year's points to get amazing rewards. Now, you guys can see here these special medals, this little gift bag as well, and crystals up for grabs. So I'll make sure to keep you guys updated throughout the week as well of what this exactly means. Now, uh, we did go over the top here, but this is just a different image of the uh the new year's fireworks aren't they splendid uh, where we can collect these medals very much so like the you know the free to play winter coat goku which actually kind of hints to me uh that we might even be seeing a first form frieza uh you know a hint towards a either powerful opponent either a lineage of evil or either a frieza force tag or maybe even a bardock who knows right so uh like i said i'll make sure to keep you guys up, uh, updated with that so um, also here we have the Legends Festival login bonus. So this is just a login bonus, you know, where we can like, uh, where pretty much we can collect New Year's medals, uh, you know, skip tickets, energy, and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, down here I already covered. It's the ring in the New Year's with Legends. Uh, it's just a different image. Now this is going to be the background image for the Frieza, uh, the free to play Frieza, which you see. It's the one versus Bardock. So don't get confused, guys. This is not the one in the Namek Saga. Uh, Frieza Saga. This is just the one, you know, where he fights Bardock, which also might hint that we might be seeing maybe a Zenkai Bardock. And by the way, I believe the Zenkai leaks might be coming out later on tonight, uh, or if not early tomorrow morning as well. So like I said, if you guys don't want to miss anything, uh, just subscribe and turn on the notifications. But here we also see that, you know, uh, there we go. We can see that we can exchange these 2022 red medals here uh, for, you know, slot removers. And we got, uh, you know, sparking Z power and extreme Z power as well. And I'm assuming other stuff as well. So um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much for the images, I believe. But let me quick show you exactly uh, what I mean about. Uh, we're gonna go over his move sets as well in just one bit, or just a basic move sets. But we can uh, we can also be expecting um, you know some Legends Road Zenkai's in the near future as well, because you know it was mentioned uh, by Toshi. So uh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on um, you know my eye on that for sure. So uh, yeah, um, you know I'm really I'm really just curious to see if they're keep. Because, you know, the, the one who usually updates this is Renzi. So, a lot of other people are updating this. So, I'm not quite sure uh, if they if they already released the Zenkai uh, preview. Because the Battle Gauntlet gets reset tomorrow night, I believe. So, uh, we still have one more day into the Battle Gauntlet. But I'm pretty sure Dragon Ball Legends are going to tweet, uh, you know, for the next Zenkai. So, I'm just really curious about that. Because I made a video about that this morning as well. So, uh, but Frieza, you know, I haven't read his movesets yet. Let's check it out real quick, guys. First form Frieza, main ability is draw a special move arts cards next. I feel like every Frieza does this, especially that other blue pod one. 
he does the exact same thing which i don't mind at all but yeah restore his own key by 50 so you can pop off that super obviously uh plus 50 percent to next special move damage which is nice inflicted cannot be canceled so requirements only five timer counts wow okay so right in the beginning of the match you can pop that off so his uh his first passive ability is uh 20 damage against saiyans applies the following effects itself when battle starts plus 70 damage Ooh, okay cannot be canceled reduces damage received by 40 percent okay that's really really good uh you know the last free to play unit that really impressed me was the rose one uh phenomenal phenomenal unit guys phenomenal unit but guys it also says here minus five to strike cards uh arts cost which is you know solid i guess he's a strike unit i'm assuming if they're gonna put that there uh you know also the following effects occur when this character is defeated restores allies health by 15 percent plus 20 percent damage inflicted to tag freeze a force or powerful opponents and reduces enemies dragon balls by two okay that's interesting nothing too crazy just yet Except that 70% was pretty nice for a uh, free-to-play unit for sure. Um, passive number two is Shorin's own substitution count by two as default. Ooh, okay. So he has an eight-timer substitution count. That's interesting by default. Uh, applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Restores key by 40. Draw a special arts cards next. Activates once. And plus 40% to strike damage inflicted for a 15-timer count. So on top of the 70, he gets a 40% and then an extra 20% against... Uh, against saints so again saints is getting a whopping 130 percent if you line strike cards which is really really crazy uh also the following effects occur if own remaining health is 70 percent or uh 70 yeah 75 percent or below after enemy's attack is over activates once restores allies health by 20 percent okay that's really nice uh plus 15 percent damage inflicted okay this freeze is looking really good he's getting a lot of buffs 15 percent 75 percent i mean yeah he's getting a lot a lot of buffs here guys uh, also increases own arts card draw speed by one okay really really uh solid frieza guys really solid frieza also uh you know his uh green card activates uh the following effects upon activation plus 20 percent uh to strike damage for 15 timer counts changes blast cards to strike cards okay and immobilizes the enemy on hit so it's that paralyzed type of uh type of green card and his uh z ability is just pretty much uh you know um 26 percent to tag freezer force or powerful opponent base track attack and defense uh and 15 percent to tags uh characters that are both freezer force and powerful opponent so a lot of emphasize on powerful opponent and freeze on him it's not really a lineage of evil character to be honest just a um a uh, freezer force and a powerful opponent character but guys, you know, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. Like I said, this is just going to be part one of the updates. One, I'm probably going to make an extra one maybe in an hour. Who knows, right? Until we get more leaks. So, uh, And then also another one uh, following in a few days from now, like a day or two from now. So yeah, just make sure you guys keep that uh, notifications on so you guys don't miss a thing. And I'll definitely catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.